What is up guys, it's Midwest Raider coming at you with another video for my channel. So today I wanted to bring you a really cool video on a tutorial on how to get your laptop hooked up to a any PA speaker guys. Now I know this is not new news for any DJs out there, but I'm trying to work with a few people that really have no knowledge on this, haven't really hooked up tech stuff before. I've had a lot of people ask me little tech type questions on hooking things up so I thought I would make this quick video because it's just easier to make a video than you know get into a long dialogue or comment or text that kind of thing so I'm gonna make a video on how to get your laptop hooked up to any PA speaker uh, I'm using a JBL 610 because the party that was asking me the question is asking, asking <laughs> sorry asking about a uh, JBL 615 uh, uh, I believe Eon 615 so this is exactly the same back. It's going to look exactly the same on the JBL Eon uh, 15. So um, definitely going to be easy for them to pick up. But I also have a uh, Rockville back here just to talk about two speakers and how to hook everything up. But really quick tutorial. This is definitely for the newbie. But if you want to just stick around, maybe hear about different ways to hook things up, I appreciate it. Anyways, let's get into the video. I'm Midwest Raider, DJ Martini Midwest, DJ Martini Services on Facebook and djmartinimidwest.com. Check them all out, guys. I want to thank all my subscribers. I'm building my channel the right way, nice and slow, easy, uh, with really cool subscribers who give me awesome feedback. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I only make videos to help and be helpful and friendly and just try to help. <laughs> uh, you can see that I'm just trying to help and uh, uh, make some cool videos and share some knowledge and make some uh, new friends out there with some scrub subscribers. So. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let's get into this video. I also just want to say, please stay safe, stay strong, stay healthy, keep busy, stay positive, all those things, guys. It'll help us all get through faster, okay? All right, let's get into the video. So he wanted to know basically how to get his laptop into this PA speaker with sound. Um, not a DJ and not anything like that. Just likes to play music at a venue um, with a PA speaker. So he has two... PA speakers, so I'll show you how to get that done. I'll also show you how to just do it if you just had one PA speaker. Um, really easy, a bunch of ways you can get it done. There's no wrong or right way, but I'll show you the easiest way, I think, uh, and with a couple cables, you'll be able to get it done real quick. So let's jump into the video right now, and let's just go with how to get your laptop to this PA speaker in the easiest form and fashion, and I'll show you the cable right here to get that done. So I've been testing everything I've been doing. I've been testing it out, make sure it all works. And so this is the easiest cable to get it done with, in my opinion. You have a XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack. Um, and this is a uh, male XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack so basically all you're gonna have to do is hook this into your audio jack on your laptop make sure it's the audio jack some some laptops have a microphone jack and an audio jack or some are combos which they have both so just make sure you're in the right audio jack so I have a little uh, ThinkPad right here it's a t70 I believe it's a t470 s yes so very reliable laptop been using it for a long time really like it um, so that's what I'm using here and it does have a dual jack so it's an audio and a mic so I'll go from that jack here and then it just goes right into your speaker here um, you just line it up according some of them have arrows on them some this one has a screw on the top so that's how I know and it just matches up with the arrows and you just push it all the way in and this speaker is connected it's as easy as that um, so you've already have the laptop connected to the speaker and we're good to go now if you wanted to hook this up to another speaker the way you do that is you're going to need an XLR but you're gonna need a female and it's gonna go into this middle output this is an output but it's also called a through and it's how you link the speakers together that's gonna go in there now I have a quarter jack here, but they do make, of course, XLR to male XLR. So I'll have these cables here. So it'll look like this. So you'll have a cable that has these two ends 
and you could hook that up. And then you would just hook up this male end to your other speaker over here. And then that's how you would link the two speakers together. Okay. But this, this cable right here happens to be XLR to quarter jack, which will also work. Even with this speaker, it'll work because these accept the quarter jack as well. See, take a quarter jack. You would take the link or the through and you'll go connect it to your other speaker over here. And boom, you have these two speakers connected, okay? So you have your laptop to one speaker, then this cable will take the signal to your other speaker. Piece of cake. Like I said, it's just uh, two different cables you could use to get that done, but like I said, either one will work, uh, no problem. So that is how easy it is to hook that up, guys. Um, so, like I said, if you just had one speaker, then you would just need uh, one cable and your laptop, and you're good to go. It's that easy, guys. And also, if you wanted to hook a microphone, you still can, because this speaker has two channels. You'll have uh, one channel here and one channel here. And all you'd have to do is hook up your microphone here, and you'd have a microphone as well. So uh, you don't need a mixer. All you need is your laptop and the speakers, and you're good to go. You just need the right cable. And if you need the right size cable, make sure you get the right. If you need, uh, maybe you're going to put another speaker really far away, make sure you get, you know, a 20 foot cable or a 25 foot cable or a 10 foot cable. I usually always buy a 10 foot cable. That's just the way I usually do it. So I'll leave some links for some 10 foot cables or anything as close as I can. So that's how you hook that up. Really easy, really simple. No problem like that. Um, but they also, just in case, like I said, I like to cover all my bases. If you can't find this cable that I link the description below, so you should be able to find it, but they also make cable like this with the 3.5 millimeter jack to a quarter jack like that. And this will also work. Like I said, you just definitely need the right cable for the job, okay? All right, let's get into some mixers really quick. So if you do wanna use a mixer with this, uh, basically all a mixer is gonna do is give you a little bit more accessibility to some features. Um, so I will show you that, okay? So I'm gonna show you two inexpensive mixers because um, you know if you're not a full DJ, you don't really need an awesome mixer. You just need something basic, uh, something reliable. And both of these so far have been that for me. So, and this first one is a Gemini MM1. This guy is super reliable. It has a lot of features actually, and you know it's really simple to use. And look how small it is. I mean about the size of my hand here uh, so it can definitely be thrown into a bag or a backpack or a suitcase or whatever you need it for and it's a reliable type uh, mixer and now I would call this one more of like a DJ mixer it's two channels so you got one channel here one channel over there um, two channel mixers it has headphone jack it has a microphone jack uh, so everything you need uh, in a little mini mixer so sixty dollars um, very inexpensive, great mixer, reliable metal case, all that good stuff. So very, very good mixer, uh, the Gemini MM1. Now, if you want something like uh, a little studio type mixer, so you see the difference here. So a DJ type mixer, studio type mixer. Then I'd recommend one of these Chinese clones. Uh, this is called a Must Lady, but there's all kinds of uh, similar units that look just like this. And these are around $30 to $45. Um, well, closer to $35 to $45. In between there somewhere. I think I picked this one up for $35. And this is a great analog mixer. Now, if you're going to use this for recording music from your laptop via a USB cable, it's not going to work very good. Uh, but if you're just going to use cables, hooked up, cable hookups, a microphone, that type of thing, it's going to work decent. It's going to get the job done. Now, I don't know. Some of these might not be as reliable as others, but it's going to get the job done. And, and that's the most important thing. So this is a great little mixer. I like it. This is the one I picked up and it also has Bluetooth. So uh, think about that. You'll have Bluetooth. You can just stream music from your phone to this unit and hook it up to your speaker as well. So just for $35 in itself, I think it's worth the Bluetooth. It also has a USB re card reader. And it, so you could just take a USB stick, put it in there with some music preloaded, and boom, as soon as you hook it up in there, it's going to automatically play that playlist, and boom, 
you're you're listening to music there so a great little this could be a little you know music stick karaoke box for you okay and it would just randomly play all the music for you and you'd be good to go so for $35 I think that's a, a value so cool little mixer there so I'm gonna show you how to hook up these two mixers now I will show you just really quick another mixer from Rockfield it's called the RDJ 3BT this is a nice little mixer same features as the other studio mixer it has the usb it has bluetooth but it has also you know some dj type more functions like a talk over switch uh, your headphones switch to switch channels uh, you know cross faders up faders a little bit more involved like a dj type mixer if you're interested but it's only 65 dollars so uh, i think it's a great value at that price and it has a bunch of input so you can hook up a bunch of different you know different things if you wanted to hook up to it so that's kind of what I like about that is it has a lot of hookups. So just an option. We're not going to get into that one that much, but I just thought I'd throw as an option since it's only $65. It has Bluetooth, USB, card reader, that kind of thing. So very, very, very cool. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and start with the studio type mixer because a lot of people like to go to those. Um, so really easy. Let me show you the cables you'll need. You're going to need... A RCA to 3.5 once again so this is going to go to your laptop in that audio jack and then on this particular one you're going to go your input is right in the middle here using the RCA jacks piece of cake and, and just remember that all so if this channels here this channels here this channels here all these knobs and everything are going to line up with your channel and then you just need to make sure your gains are up and everything like that but other than that they're not very complicated so the next cable you're going to need now this one has outputs they're quarter jack so you have to use quarter jack for the outputs but the outputs are here so i would just use quarter jack so the cable you're going to need here is two quarter jacks i would just use quarter jack but you could use a quarter jack and a you could use a quarter jack to XLR. They do make those. Um, there's a lot of ways you could do this, but since this has quarter jack, I would just stay with quarter jack. So all you're gonna do is take one of these quarter jacks into here, and this is gonna go to one speaker. And this is the input here. So it's just gonna go right into the input. And then you would just take another quarter jack and plug it into here, into your other uh, output and then it would go to the other speaker so very very easy there no problem uh, what's cool about this little uh, studio mixer too is I can plug it into my laptop and it can get power from my lag my laptop and I'll just show you that it's working uh, everything is good I'm gonna fire up this JBL the just JBL takes about 10 seconds to start up because it's gonna do a little boot sequence and once you see the power light on the top then you know you're good to go so right there pretty sure we're good to go and you can see that we're playing music so we're good to go all right i'm going to go ahead and shut that off i'm going to unplug everything i'm getting no cracks or pops so it's that easy guys so basically you're going to go outputs one of these goes to one speaker one of these goes to another speaker and then your two inputs from your laptop go into your middle there on your input so very very easy on the little studio mixer now if you wanted to hook up a microphone on this guy you would just use one of the microphone ports over here and then you'd have your volumes over here so pretty pretty easy there now here we go here's the mm1 i want to get two channels like i said so if you wanted to hook up your laptop on one side and maybe another jack for a phone you want to hook up a, your cell phone or somebody else's cell phone they want to bring a song to the table it would be really easy to get that done with this two channel mixer but notice you only have rcas on this one so we're going to have to get a different type of cable so you're still going to use the same output cable from your laptop you're going to use that 3.5 millimeter jack to the rcas on this one you're going to go to the input on one side so i'll get this plugged in and then show you here so you're going to go to the input this is the input side 
right there. And so if you're if you're on the input side here, you would just make sure that your crossfader is over or in the middle to the side wherever your inputs are, okay? It will correlate. All right, so then now, how do we get the RCA to the speaker now? Because we're not using this quarter jack now. So there's two ways you could do this. They do make quarter jack to RCA, which is what I would use. This is what I would use. I would use, you would take one of these and you put it in the inputs coming from your master output. And then you would go straight to your speaker right there. And then you would take another one, which will normally come in a pair. Uh, where'd my other one go here, right here. You would take your other one, you go into the output and then it would go to your other speaker over here. Right there. So make sure your cables are all put in and you would plug this in and you would be good to go. This is all. And if you don't hear any sound, just make sure you check your volume levels, your master volume level and, or, you know, have your crossfader in the middle right there or to the side where your input is. So, but other than that, this is all ready to go. But I'm going to show you just really quick another way you could do this. So, like I said, I would take one cable into one speaker, another cable into another speaker, and boom, you're done. But there's one more way I could show you if you want to link these together. They make cables like this. <clears throat> so this has two RCA cables. So that would go into your RC cables here, your outputs. And then I have it to an XLR cable, but they do make them in quarter jack too. Sorry, I have this as an RCA cable. So RCAs to one XLR, which will go into your speaker. And then like I said, now we just have to link. So you use that same cable that we used last time the female XLR to the through and then the either depending on what kind of cable you buy the XLR to the quarter or quarter jack whatever you buy and then that's just going to go to your other speaker over here and you plug that in and now you have this speaker linked to the other speaker. And like I said, if you, had, if you have two JBLs, then you still have the same connection, so you're still good to go. Okay, guys? So that's another way to do it. Uh, so, and both will work, like I said, but I like to just use two separate channels, and that's why I go with the RCA to the quarter jack, because uh, I'll, I'll just have one cable hooked into here and one cable hooked into my other speaker. And that's how I do it. But other than that, guys, I just want to show you one quick other thing, guys. Uh, these are cool too. These are uh, XLR to RCA adapters. So these just go right into the speaker right here and they do have a little arrow on it. And now you can just hook an RCA. So you could hook an RCA cable like this straight from your mixer. So you hook one of those, you'd hook one of these. So the red would go to this one here. And then you could hook this white to another speaker on the other one. So these are very, very cool. Uh, I like these adapters. I haven't seen these a lot. So when I found a pair, I thought I would purchase one. Uh, but yeah, XLR to RCA, cool little adapter. You do get a little pair of them. So I will put a link in the description. But other than that, guys, I think that's it. That's all I needed to show you guys pretty basic um, hopefully it was helpful and you guys get a little knowledge from it and you'll learn how to hook up a laptop to a mixer to a speaker or just a laptop to a speaker either way uh, most speakers are pretty universal they will always have uh, you know a quarter jack or a combo jack or an XLR jack some speakers even now come with a 3.5 millimeter jack or that uh, uh, speak on 
but those are all different kinds of uh, you know ways to connect the speakers but in this case most of these do have the combo jack which has that XLR and the quarter jack so you should be good to go you just have to buy the right cable the, the right cable length so make sure you guys get all that done like I said I will leave links and descriptions of a lot of the cables and the speakers and all the equipment I use today so you guys can check those out if you guys do decide to pick any of that stuff up if you picked it up from the links that would help my channel so thank you guys so much it's been Midwest Raider more videos to come guys stay tuned